Hi, my name is Gisela Marti. I'm the creative director for Tammy Taylor Nails. We're getting into the holidays and we need to be prepared. Today, we're gonna do an elegant, simple, but commercial design. Our guest artist, of course, is gonna be Gel Prisa. It's a three-in-one gel polish, and it's a base coat, it's a color, and a top coat all in one. Let me show you the versatility of the gel Prisa with these fun designs. So, let's get started. For our Christmas ornament design, we're gonna be working with our gel Prisa Rocking Braid. We also gonna use the Juicy Peach, the Little Bow Pink Clear. We're gonna add our gel paints, yellow and brown. We're gonna finish with our Top Gel Plus. We're gonna be working with our Dazzle Rock, Rock Me Red. Our dotting tool, to clean, we will be cleaning with the Clean It, and of course, our white bits. In my design, the one that I'm gonna be doing right now, which is called Christmas Ornament, if you notice, I already have my nail prepared with the sheer, with the gel polish sheer. And I'm going now to do the whole background of the nail, and it's going to be like a mustard color. To achieve that color, I have over here my Juicy Peach gel polish. I have my gel paint yellow and my gel paint brown. So I'm gonna start little by little adding to my gel preset Juicy Peach the colors. Little by little, remember, you want to be able to see the tone that you want. If it's too dark, because you put too much it's gonna be very hard for you to bring it down. But if you go little by little, you will be able to see exactly the color that you desire. As you see, I'm keep adding to my Juicy Peach yellow. The yellow is what it's gonna really actually, is gonna give you the mustard. And we're getting very close right here. One more yellow. And I'm going to be using the brush of my Juicy Peach. Here we go. One more yellow. And this is a beautiful color. All what we did was transform the Juicy Peach into a different color. Just a little bit of that brown. Not much. And this is the color, the exact color that I was looking for. Here we go. So I got my mustard and I'm gonna take my brush from the bottom of my Juicy Peach and I want to be sure that I take all the excess totally out and I'm gonna polish the nail exactly the same way I will regularly do. So apply the polish, the gel polish that you created to the whole nail. Once you do that, you're gonna cure for two minutes. Here we are. Be sure that you cover completely the whole nail. Don't forget to cap. And don't forget the sides. Mustard is a nice color to use as a background for any Christmas decoration. So here we are, that's my background. Now I'm gonna cure for two minutes. Don't forget to clean your brush before putting it back because remember, we was mixing yellow and brown and we don't wanna bring it into the bottle. So what I did was I put a little bit of my brush, um, sorry, my clean it, and I'm gonna clean. I wanna be sure that my brush doesn't have any particles of the brown, neither that yellow. Once I see that it's totally clean, as you see, now I can put it back. Okay, so I already served in my plate a little bit of my gel Prisa red, and I'm going to, with the aid of my detail brush, 
I'm going to make over here like a ball, a round ball. You can make it as big as you want or as small as you want, depending which is the size of the nail of the client. My client has long nail, so I can make it big. And here we are forming my ornament. Can make it a little bit wider. Let me see if you can see it over here. And now I'm gonna bring it down. You can make it a square ornament. You can make a triangle. I mean, whichever is the shape of the ornament that you choose to make. It doesn't have to be this shape, but whichever your client and you decide because you like it. And here it is, it's pretty big, my ornament, right there. See, let me look for the position so you can see it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dazzle rock my ornament. Uh, let me make it a little bit bigger over here, just a little bit bigger. There we go. Now, we're gonna dazzle rock the ornament. Let me take this out of the way so I can bring my dazzle rock over here. And we're gonna dazzle rock with my Rock Me Red dazzle rock. That's from the new collection of Jingle Bells. It's a Jingle Bell collection. So here we go, we're gonna sprinkle the dazzle rock on top of the red that I put over there. And why did I put red and not sheer? It's because if I don't cover totally my little design, it's just gonna be perfect because it's red. So you're not gonna see it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some small touches before I cure for two minutes because I'm gonna cure for two minutes. So it's already cured, and what I'm gonna do now with the aid of my manicure brush, I want to be sure that I brush really, really good my whole design. Okay, there we go. That's my ornament right there. And now I'm gonna put all the details of the ornament. To finish our ornament, we're gonna be using white, watercolor, so I'm gonna put some in my palette of the white, and with the use of this detail brush, I'm gonna to come to the top, and I'm going to do like a small line from one side to the other. Then I'm gonna do a second one. This time, I'm gonna make it smaller from one side to the other. And my third one, kind of like a little bit smaller. So it's just like placing my brush right there. And that's the top of my ornament. Now I'm gonna take my dotting tool and with a small side, I'm gonna come to the bottom and I'm gonna make dots, about three dots. That's my ornament right there. Now I need my little hanger, but before putting the hanger, I'm gonna come with my black paint and I'm gonna bring like a branch, a dry branch from one side to the other. Then another one, just wiggle lines. You don't have to do straight line, you can wiggle it. And that's a branch of a tree that now is dry because it's Christmas. You know, all the leaf fall. So here we have our branch right there. So now we're gonna put the little hanger of my ornament right here. Let me see if you can see. Right here, from here all the way to, like a C. See, let me see, let me move it so you can see the hanger. See over here. Now, it was snowing, so I need to put some snow in some areas. And that, 
My dotting tool is gonna help me. So I'm gonna put some snow over here on the branch, uh, some over here on this branch, and some here. Just make believe that is some snow right there. What we're gonna do now is we're going to seal the design with our top gel plus, but before I even do that, I'm gonna put like an, a small line on this side, just making believe like it is the reflection of your ornament right there. We're gonna wait till it dries and then we're gonna put the top gel plus. So now my paint is completely dry and I'm gonna seal the design with the top gel. Just remember, whenever you're working with watercolors, be sure that you seal your design completely. I'm gonna go around my ornament, but I'm also gonna seal the top of my ornament. But first, go around to be sure that there's not much of glitter and if it is so i can remove it with my top gel now we're going to cure for two minutes and once we cure our design is completely done it's totally cured so now my my next step and my last step it would be to clean with the clean it the whole designs one is clean your nail is totally done how fun was that so let's recap, in our ornament design, uh, don't forget when you do mixes with the gel paints and the gel prisa to clean the brush before putting it back. In this particular design, we did a mix with the juicy peach, brown, and yellow. The color mustard goes on your taste. The more mustard you want, a little bit more of brown and yellow, the less mustard, or oh, less brown and yellow. Over here, we use our Dazzle Rock, Rock Me Red, which is awesome and amazing for this design and stand up in top of the mustard. This is a very simple design. As simple as, simple as it is, it's also a very commercial design. I hope you had fun with this design. So, you don't have to be an artist to feel like one. And I am sure that you have designs that you would love to share with us. So why don't you take a picture? Write step-by-step -step directions, send it to creative director at TammyTaylorNails.com. Again, creative director at TammyTaylorNails.com. And you can be the next talk of the town.